The Trans-African Highway Network consists of transcontinental road projects in Africa being built in collaboration with regional communities and the United Nations Economic Commission for Africa, UNECA, the African Development Bank, ADB, and the African Union. They seek to increase commerce and relieve poverty in Africa by developing highway infrastructure and managing road-based trade corridors. Some papers refer to highways as trans-African corridors or road corridors rather than highways. Outside of planning and development circles, the name Trans-African Highway and its variants are not widely used and as of 2014, they are not signposted or labeled on maps, except in Kenya and Uganda, where the Mombasa Nairobi Kampala 4 portal of Trans-African Highway 8 is sometimes referred to as the Trans-Africa Highway. Egypt's building industry has expanded substantially in the previous 10 years. And following a temporary halt due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the industry is expected to increase by 9% on average between 2020 and 2024. This expansion will be fueled mostly by aggressive public-private partnerships and the creation of green buildings to enhance energy efficiency and high-end infrastructure. Welcome to Thinkrich Media, the community which brings to you entrepreneurial, business, and personal development content to inform, motivate, and inspire you. We also want to introduce you to our special African development playlist because we strongly believe entrepreneurship, rather than global pity, is the key to Africa's growth and development. So if you're African and you aren't subscribed to our community, you're missing out. Egypt plans to work with nine other nations to complete the building of a highway connecting the countries north to Cape Town, South Africa, by 2024, in the hopes of increasing trade on the continent. This plan was first made public earlier this year, when Transport Minister Kamal El-Wazir informed the House of Representatives that his ministry is working on a number of road projects to connect Egypt with its neighbors. Egypt will finish the Cairo-Cape Town motorway, which will span nine African nations as part of Egypt's attempts to link with neighboring countries, according to the ministry. The Cairo-Cape Town Highway is a road between Cairo and Cape Town that was initially suggested by the British Empire in the 19th century after an attempt to build the Cape to Cairo railway failed. According to the Egyptian minister, the Pan-African Highway would begin in Egypt from the seaside city of Alexandria and will pass through Cairo on its route to the Egyptian-Sudanese border. The 10,288-kilometer Pan-African Road would go from Egypt to Sudan, South Sudan, Ethiopia, Kenya, Tanzania, Zambia, Zimbabwe, Botswana, and South Africa, eventually finishing in Cape Town. The Trans-African Highway is expected to cost $1.7 billion. However, it is uncertain if the continuing dispute between Egypt, Sudan, and Ethiopia over the Addis Ababa Nile River Magnum project would impede attempts to complete the Meg Road project. Kamal El-Wazir also disclosed that Egypt is presently constructing a 1,102-kilometer road through Libya to link with Chad at a cost of $1.4 billion. They are also working on a 585-kilometer coastal road from Saloum in western Egypt to Behazi in eastern Libya, which will cost $190.6 million. Egypt's road projects with neighboring countries seek to achieve sustainable development, promote commercial interchange with Egypt's neighbors, and improve Egyptian goods access to Arab and African markets. However, the African Development Bank is co-financing the Cairo Cape Town Road with the UN Economic Commission for Africa and the African Union. Kamal El-Wazir earlier claimed in an interview with NBC Master Channel that his government is in discussions with the African Development Bank to seek $1.4 billion in finance for the Trans-African Road project. In the interview, he also stated that the African Development Bank and the Egyptian government will fund the Cairo-Cape Town Road. In another development, Malin Bloomberg, 
the director of the African Development Bank's country office in Egypt, stated in August 2020 on the sidelines of the bank's annual meetings that trans-African roads help reduce the high cost and time of transporting goods and boost economic integration among African countries. The African Development Bank, according to Bloomberg, is eager to assist the Cairo Cape Town Road since it would serve a huge number of people and improve the transportation of products in Egypt and other regions of Africa. Magdi Sala, a professor of highway and transportation engineering at Cairo University, affirmed the project's significance in an interview with Al Monitor. The Cairo Cape Town Road, according to Magdi Sala, is a landmark project that would accomplish land connection and enhanced economic interchange with African countries. He stated that the Pan-African Cross-Border Highway will shorten the time it takes for Egyptian goods, particularly agricultural items, to reach African markets. The Pan-African Road will assist the government in achieving economic development and strengthening its position on the African continent. According to Salah, the road project, which was resurrected by the Egyptian government in 2015, has been delayed owing to a lack of funding. The Egyptian government looks to have acquired the necessary funding for the project and is working hard to finish it by 2024. President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi claimed during the Second Belt and Route Forum in Beijing in April 2019 that the Cairo Cape Town Road will increase inter-African business and investment. He added that Egypt applauds efforts to enhance the present connection as part of the Belt and Road Initiative with China and other parties to contribute to the African continent's efforts to achieve sustainable development goals and improve African people's living conditions. According to the Egyptian National Statistics Office CAPMAS, Egypt's commercial trade with Libya totaled $899 million in 2019, with $608 million with Sudan, $550 million with Kenya, $173 million with South Africa, and $144 million with Ethiopia. The Cairo Cape Town Highway project would link all five nations. Egypt is a party to a number of African multilateral trade treaties, including the Eastern and Southern African Common Market and the African Continental Free Trade Area. Egypt's trade with the Eastern and Southern African Common Market grew by 19.1% in 2019 to $3.9 billion, up from $3.2 billion in 2018. According to Abdul Hamid, these efforts contribute to the government's objective of attracting foreign investment, promoting entrepreneurship, and achieving sustainable development as part of Egypt's Vision 2030. In another move, Egypt and Sudan agreed in October last year to build a cross-border railway network to carry both passengers and products between the two nations as part of efforts to boost bilateral commercial exchange. Thank you for watching. If there are any tips you think should be on this list but is not, leave a comment let us know. Help our channel grow. We hope this video has been helpful to you. Support us by liking the video, subscribing and turning on your notification. <laughs>